Ducks need water in order to eat. You can see that Ajax here takes a good mouthful of food and then turns around to filter it through his bill and swallow before coming back for more. This makes them very messy, as in unbelievably messy. This is the top thing I found when I was looking into how to raise ducklings. And you must know how you're going to cope with the sheer amount of mess that they make. Otherwise, it can take yeah, over your life. <laughs> because they need water when they're eating, you may be tempted to put the food and water right next to each other. This may sound like a good idea. After all, if they're walking backwards and forwards, they'll drop food all over the place, make a mess, and then waste it. So putting the two next to each other is just sensible, right? Well, maybe, but ducks are also very messy with water. They splish, splosh, and sploosh it all over the place when eating, bathing, drinking, and of course, they'll get it on themselves, and then just waddle about, dripping on things. So if you put the water next to the food, they'll splash the food, making it soggy and just make mess of a different kind. You put a bowl of water in front of a duck and they'll start filtering it through their beaks to find tasty morsels. And you can feed them their food by dropping a small amount in the water and letting them dibble for it. It's something for them to do and as they get older you can give them finely chopped cabbage or various vegetables and a favourite treat of adult ducks is peas and sweet corn, defrosted of course and floating in water. As well as for food and drink, ducks need water to clean their noses. In fact, it's important to give them water which is deep enough for them to get their whole bills in so that they can clear their nostrils. They also need to clean their bills. Our ducks use the interlocking structures of their bills to filter water for food. They also use it to sort of comb their feathers or fluff when grooming. They then need to clean their bills to clear all the gunk out. All of this means that the water will get impossibly dirty in a shockingly short space of time. It will also get everywhere as they shake their heads, try to bathe or just splash it from the sides of their mouth as they dibble. The point I'm making is that when it comes to ducks, it's not about how you prevent mess. You can try, and I have found some things that actually work, but mostly it's about how you deal with the huge amount of mess that's constantly created. You will feel an awful lot like Sisyphus, pushing his boulder up the hill, only for it to roll back down again when you thought you were at the top. Mm. I will do a separate video on how I, as a total beginner, manage the mess from my ducklings. It may help, or amuse you when you hear the lengths I went to. When they're young and tiny, they're all cuteness and a manageable mess level. But when they get bigger, they drink, eat and, well, poop. A lot more. A lot more. Well, ducks are intelligent little things and with intelligence comes curiosity. Particularly once they're done eating, drinking or bathing, they'll investigate every nook and cranny they can. They use their bill to feel, taste and nibble anything that they find interesting. The folds of your clothes, a loose thread, anything, so it's important to duck-proof their enclosure and to supervise if you let them out of their usual safe zone. Be aware that they can move quickly, and they like to climb. Now, once they've investigated, they seem to like a raised area to settle down and preen. Baby ducks will snuggle up together and look absolutely adorable. 
and they will climb on anything.